we're going to be looking at some examples of variation problems. We're going to go through the entire process of defining our variables, modeling the situation, and solving the question. For our first example, we see the distance a ball rolls down an inclined plane is directly proportional to the square of the time it rolls. From this first sentence is how I'm going to define my variables. The subject of the sentence is the distance that the ball rolls. So for that first piece, I'm going to use d is equal to distance. My verb is my is, and in a variation problem, the verb is the equals. So I know that's the equals. The second half of my sentence, directly proportional to the square of the time. So my other quantity is the time, and I'm going to use t for time. Next, I want to model the variation. In order to model the variation, I start with the subject, which in this case is distance. Next is my verb, which is always the equals. The constant k will always follow the equal sign. Now I want to look at the relationship. The word directly is used. So right here, directly proportional is one of our keywords. And in our pre-lecture notes, we said that that means multiply. So I'm going to multiply by the time. But it's not just the time. It is the square of the time. So the way that I write squared is with an exponent of 2. So step 1, define my variables. Got it done. Step 2, write the model. In math, the model is the equation. Step three is to find k. When we find k, we want to find a pair of numbers that are related. Reading the second sentence. During the first second, the ball rolls eight feet. So that's telling me that eight feet is a pair with one second. If I had this information in a chart, they would be in the same row. So distance is 8 feet. I'll put that into my formula. 8 equals k times time, and the time here is 1 squared. Well, exponents come first, so squaring 1 is simply 1. 8 equals k times 1, and 1k is the same as just k, so k is equal to 8. Our fourth and final part of the variation problem is solve the question. So when I look at the last sentence in my word problem, it says, how far will the ball roll during the first three seconds? So by looking at the question, how far? Far is distance, so I don't know distance. I'm going back to my formula. The next piece in my formula is k, and I just solved and found that k was 8. And the time is 3, and my formula has a squared. So doing the math, distance is 8 times 3 squared, which is 9, and the distance is equal to 72 feet. And so I've gone through all four steps. I've answered the question. I set up the variation model. I found the constant. And at this point, I could find m the answer to many ordered pairs. Give me a time, and I'll just plug it into my formula, because I know k, I know the constant for this scenario.